Prepositions. Prepositions are single words such as at, from, in, of, on, and can be found as simple prepositions with a wide range of meanings, such as prepositions of time and place. Prepositions can also be found in prepositional phrases, which consist of prepositions plus objects. The objects are noun phrases and can include object pronouns and gerunds. Prepositions can also be dependent, always following a noun, an adjective, or a verb. In addition, prepositions can be the particles in phrasal verbs. Explore these options with your teacher in class. Listen to the recording and pay attention to the prepositions. What are their functions in the text? Are they simple prepositions, part of prepositional phrases, or are they dependent prepositions, or even particles in phrasal verbs? Listen to the text and find this out. Levels intermediate up. Contrary to popular belief, students do work. According to a survey carried out by the National Union of Students, NUS, four out of ten students attending universities in the UK had a job during term time. With more tuition fees and other additional costs, it seems reasonable to assume that this figure is increasing. The students we talked to confirmed that this is the case. For many of the students we interviewed, the idea of a part-time job on top of their full-time studies is no longer an option, but a necessity. At the same time, some of them said universities offer little help regarding employment or simply advise students against having a job. They expect students to be working on their degrees and nothing else. One medical student reported, When I told my director of studies that I had a job in the Christmas break, he frowned. He clearly didn't think it was a good idea. Most students are employed in part-time or temporary jobs, and as a result of this, have no job security and don't qualify for sick leave or holiday pay. Many students are hired in place of regular workers, but are generally paid less than them. Some students don't actually work for pay, but do jobs in exchange for lower rent and slash or meals. These are With usually the caretaker of those jobs. able to find work inside their universities and colleges. The majority of students have jobs at night or during the weekend. One student reported that, apart from working, her weekends were spent sleeping. I work as a security guard until 3 a.m. on Friday and Saturday nights, so I end up sleeping all day Saturday and Sunday. Another student said she works 22 hours a week in addition to her 20 weekly hours of lectures. I wouldn't say it has had any effect academically, but it means that I can't go out much. According to the NUS employment study, more than 10% of students had missed lectures or failed to submit work because of job commitments. For those with term time jobs, 30% had missed lectures, while 20% had not handed in assignments. It seems almost inevitable that, due to financial pressures, the university experience will change. Increased costs in education together with pressures to succeed in a competitive world are defining the circumstances in which today's students struggle to complete their degrees. Student life really does involve a lot more work these days.